Hi, I'm David Stjernholm and this is the 415th edition of Done. Today's episode is about how to have your to-do list get written automatically. But first, chat-based collaboration tools such as Teams and Slack are used in a majority of the organizations I meet nowadays. They definitely solve some problems, but as all tools do, they cause some as well. I'm curious to hear of your experiences. So, in what way do these chat-based collaboration tools not work? How do they make your work harder? Write me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me. Let's say that there are things you do at work more than once, perhaps even relatively often. And they are not tiny tasks either, but rather smaller projects that take more than a workday to complete and in themselves consist of a number of smaller to-do tasks. You complete these tasks or projects from time to time for different customers, different months or something else that make them different from one time to another. Every time you need to repeat the task, there's something new and unique about it. But surely you don't want to rewrite all the small to-do tasks, which the more extensive task consists of, every time you're going to do them. Wouldn't you rather ensure that the to-do tasks are automatically written on your to-do list so that you're able to focus on doing the tasks rather than spending time writing down the things you have to do? I have found a way to do this for those who work in Office 365. If you use another email client than Outlook, such as Gmail or Mail for Mac, wait for another edition of Done where I will share how to do the same thing in these email clients. Now do this. Let's say that you use Outlook Tasks as your to-do list, which is a tool a lot more Outlook users should explore if you ask me. And to have an example to play around with, let's say we're going to bake a series of different cakes and cookies. Then first, create a new plan in the service planner in Office 365 and let this be the place where you plan all your baking. Let's give it the title Bakery. To make it simple, only create two columns, to bake, and have baked. In the service flow in Office 365, create a new flow that will work as a template consisting of all the tasks you have to do when you're going to bake something. As a trigger, choose when a new task is created in Planner and choose to work with the bakery plan. Now, add the first action, which is that a new task will be created in Outlook Tasks, called Tasks in Flow, when a new task has been created in Planner. In my baking example, I could name the task by ingredients for and then add the title from the task created in Planner since I'm going to name the tasks in the baking plan after the kind of cake that's going to be baked. Next, set a due date, which you actually can calculate automatically. I want to buy the ingredients one week before the cake needs to be ready, so then I use the add days function and set the due date for the purchase to be the due date for the baking day minus seven days. Then add the remaining to-do tasks, which the larger task, in my case the baking, consists of, as more actions. The template is almost finished now. The only thing that remains for me to do is to create yet another action that will make Outlook send me an email reminding me that the plan for the upcoming baking session is ready. Let's say that you now want to make a batch of cookies. In Planner, add a new task and name it Cookies. Choose what date you want the cookies to be ready and click Add Task. A few moments later, you will get an email from Flo that lets you know that the plan for baking cookies has been created. After a quick look in Outlook Tasks, you're now able to conclude that all the to-do tasks that are required to bake cookies have been automatically added to your to-do list with the exact calculated due dates. Was this hard to grasp in audio format? Well, I made a short video describing the process which you can find on the structure blog at stjernholm.com slash blog. It's less than four minutes long, so check it out. Because by using this clever function, you will get the to-do tasks written without having to write them when you have to do things more than once. You will spend less time administering the to-do list and you'll get more time to actually do the things on the list. Have you used Flow for something similar or something completely different? Tell me in an email and send it to david at stjernholm.com because I'm really interested in this kind of automation at the moment. 
If you know someone who would benefit from knowing this, tell him or her, because the more of us who work in a structured way, the easier our workdays become. Thank you for today and see you next week.